Alright, so let's move on to the last book. Alright, book number 10 on cat and kitten. Cat and kitten. Okay, so that will be our last book on cat and kitten. Alright, cat and the kitten. Okay, so before we move on to cat and kitten, can you tell me what is kitten? Okay, alright, so <coughs> kitten is the baby of the cat, right? Okay, so of course everybody knows what's a cat, okay? This is a cat, right? This is a cat, okay? Alright, what sound does a cat make? What kind of sound does a, does a cat make? Okay? A dog goes oof oof, right? So a dog goes oof oof. How about a cat? A cat goes meow meow, right? Meow meow. Alright, okay, so a kitten, K-I-T-T-E-N, a kitten is the baby of the cat. So a kitten is a baby cat, okay, it's a baby cat. Alright, okay, so as usual, we'll go through the words that we have already learned, okay? So the first one we have rock, rock, wind, wind, okay, hug, hug, all right, cold, cold, very, very, cool, cool, swim, swim, smell, smell. Tunnel, tunnel, milk, milk, stick, stick, cam, cam, pool, pool, mess, mess, tent, tent, dump, dump. Okay. Funnel, funnel, stuck, stuck, bank, bank, room, room, half, half. Alright, so those are the words that we have already learned, okay? But I'd like to point out to you, okay, if you look closely, what is the difference between funnel Funnel and tunnel. Okay, so I want to point out to you the differences between the two of them first. Okay. All right. So let me draw on the board so that you can have a better picture. Okay. So funnel with an F. F U N N E L. A funnel is this. Okay, so this is a funnel. So if you put your water, okay, your water, your water in to the funnel, okay, you have your water dripping out of the funnel, right? So this is a funnel, okay? How about a tunnel? T U N N E L, right? A tunnel, T U N N E L. We have learned it just now, alright? So this is a tunnel. Okay? And you can walk through the tunnel, right? You can walk through the tunnel. Okay? So this is a tunnel and this is a funnel. Alright? So make sure you know the difference between a tunnel and a funnel. Okay? So I'll give you 5 seconds to Take note of the difference, okay? 
5 seconds to take note of the difference. Alright? Okay. So, as you know, in English, it is very important, right? You see, the, the main difference between the two of them is the word, the first word, right? The first word starts with F, or the first word starts with T. Okay? So T U N N E L and F U N N E L, they are different, right? They are different. So make sure you know the both of them. Okay? Alright, so let's move on to the story itself. So Viv and Kevin had a kitten. His name was Trot. Trot was just six weeks old. Okay? So Viv and Kevin had a kitten. His name was Trot. Trot was just six weeks old. So this is a kitten, right? And the name of this kitten is Trot. Alright, the name of the kitten is Trot. Trot is six weeks old. Six weeks old. Alright, so remember what is... Okay, you know what is five years old, right? Five years old. Okay, you know what is five years old? How about what is six weeks old? Six weeks old. Ah, so try, you have learned this word before, right? Can you still remember? Okay, so let me test you, okay? Let me test you. So how many days are there in a week? How many days are, are there in a week? Okay? So in a week, there are seven days, right? So in a week, there are seven days. And they are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and your Sunday. Alright? Can you still remember how to spell from Monday to Sunday? Okay? So let me do a quick revision on your spelling for Monday to Sunday. Alright? Okay, so give me a second while I do this Alright. So in a week, in a week, we have seven days. Okay? And the seven days are Monday, M O N D A Y, Tuesday, T U E S. D A Y, Wednesday, W E D N E S D A Y, Thursday, T H U R S D A Y, Friday, F R I D A Y, Saturday. S A T U R D A Y and lastly Sunday S U N D A Y Right? So these are your seven days. Okay, your seven days. So in a week there are seven days. Right? Okay, so okay, quick math, quick math, okay? So, can you tell me how many days are there in 6 weeks? How many days are there in 6 weeks? Okay? This is math, huh? this is math. Okay, this is math. Okay, let's do a quick activity, alright? On how many days are there in 6 weeks? Okay? So... How many days are there in six weeks? Alright. 
Let me tell the answer, okay? Good math, good math. So 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Alright? So in 6 weeks, we have 42 days. Okay? So in 6 weeks, we have 42 days. So we know that the kitten is actually 42 days old. Right? 42 days old or 6 weeks old. Alright? Okay. So Kevin and Viv had a very big cat too. The cat's name was Maul. Maul was 10. Maul did not like fraud. So on the next page, Kevin and Viv had a very big cat too. The cat's name was Maul. Maul was 10. Maul did not like Trot. Alright? So now they have a kitten. They also have a cat. Right? They have a kitten and a cat. The cat is 10 years old, right? The cat is 10 years old. Well, the kitten is 6 weeks old. Okay, the kitten is 6 weeks old. Alright? But, Trot. Okay, the name of this cat is Mole, right? M O L L. So, Mole did not like Trot. Mole did not like Trot. Okay? Mole slept on a blanket in a very old box. Mole slept on a blanket in a very old box. Mole did not like Trot in the box. Okay, so on this page, Mole slept on a blanket in a very old box. Mole did not like Trot in the box. Okay, so the two cats sleep together, right? They sleep in the box. Okay? So do you still remember what is a box? B O X. Can you still remember what is a box? Alright, so let me erase the box again and show you what is a box. Okay? <coughs> Alright. So this is a box. B O X. And we have Two cats in the box, right? Or rather, a cat and a kitten. Okay? So we have a cat. Okay, how do you draw a cat? Like that. Okay, and a kitten. Okay? A smaller one, okay? A smaller one. Okay? So we have Maul and we also have Trot. Alright, this is a cat and this is the kitten. They are in a box. Okay? But I like to jump into Maul's box, said Trot. Okay, so Trot the kitten likes to jump into Mole's box. Trot sat on top of Mole. Mole was very cross. Okay? Trot sat on top of Mole. Alright? Mole was very cross. Okay? His spit, said Mole. Get off, Trot. Get off. Okay? So his Spit, said Maul, get up trot, get off. Alright, so the small kitten likes to sit on Maul, okay? So Maul is very cross. C-R-O-S-S. -S. Okay, so remember what is the word cross? The word cross means very angry, right? So because 
Fox sits on Maul. Okay, Maul is very angry. Okay, Maul is very angry. So Maul wants Maul wants Trot to get off, get off. Okay, to get away, to go away. Okay, to get off means to go away. Okay, get off means to go away. All right. Okay, but Trot did not get off. Maul bit Trot. Trot ran to Biv. So on the next page, we can see that Trot did not get away, did not get off, right? So Maul bit Trot. Trot ran to Biv. Okay, so the new word here is bit. B-I-T. Okay? Bit is the past tense, is the past tense of bite. So bit is the past tense of bite. So can you tell me what is bite? Okay, can you, can you tell me what is bite? Alright. Okay, so I want you to go and Google this word yourself. You remember how I taught you? You can Google the word yourself, okay? So B-I-T-E, okay? Google the word yourself and you will know what is the meaning, okay? So that will be a little homework for you, okay? So that you know what is the meaning of bite. So, Trot ran to Viv, right? Trot ran to Viv. Kevin ran into the room. Trot must not jump on Maul, said Kevin to Trot. It is bad to get in Maul's box. Alright, so on the next page, Kevin ran into the room. Trot must not jump on Maul, said Kevin to Trot. It is, it is bad to get in Maul's box. Okay, it is bad to get in Maul's box. So, Kevin, the boy, tells Trot the kitten to not to get on or not to jump on Maul, okay? Not to jump on Maul, alright? It is bad to spit at Trot, said Viv to Maul. Trot is just six weeks old. Trot and Maul ran from the room. So it is bad to spit at Trot, said Viv to Maul. Trot is just six weeks old. Trot and Maul ran from the room. Okay? Alright, so we have another word here. S-P-I-T, right? Spit. S-P-I-T. So can you tell me what is the meaning of the word spit? Okay, what is the meaning of the word spit? Okay. To spit means to spit means to use your saliva and twee. Okay? Use your saliva and twee. Okay? So that's the meaning of the word spit. Alright? Okay. So on the next page, will Mo get to like Trot? said Kevin to Viv. Kevin felt bad. Not just yet, said Viv. Viv felt bad too. You okay? So will Mo get to like Trot? said Kevin to Viv. Kevin felt bad. Not just yet, said Viv. Viv felt bad too. So the new phrase here we have is not just yet. Okay? Not just yet. Not just yet. Alright? This is the new phrase here, okay? So not just yet means that Viv thinks that Trot and more, right? They needed uh, more time to interact with each other before they can become friends, right? Before they can become friends. 
So not just yet means soon, right? Soon they will become friends. Alright? So let us get a box for Trot too, said Viv. Let us get a box too for Trot. I will get a blanket for the box. Okay, said Kevin. I will get a blanket for a box. So now, they want to get another box, okay, another box for Trot, right? So that Trot can go into this box, okay? They want to get another box for Trot, alright? Okay, so on the last page, Trot slept in a box next to Mole's box. Mole did not hiss and spit. Trot did not jump on Mom. Kevin and Viv felt very glad. Alright? So Trot slept in a box next to Mom's box. Okay? Mom did not hiss and spit. Trot did not jump on Mom. Kevin and Viv felt very glad. Okay? So in the end, Trot moved to this box, right? So I'll move to this box. Okay, so Trot is no longer here. Trot is no longer here, okay? Trot is no longer here. Trot is here. Okay, so Trot moved to another box, alright? And the two of them became friends, right? The two of them became friends. They Maul did not spit and hiss, did not hiss and spit at Trot. Okay? So Kevin and Viv felt very glad. So, the both of them were very happy, right? And that will be it for the end of the story on the cat and the kitten, okay? The end for the story on the cat and kitten. Okay, so let us do a quick revision on the words that we have learned, okay? So firstly, we have the word kitten, right? So a kitten is a baby cat. A kitten is a baby cat. K-I-T-T-E-N, okay? A kitten is a baby cat. Next, we have the word cross again, okay? Cross. Cross means very angry, right? Okay, and we also have the short phrase, get off. Get off means to go away, alright? And we have not just yet, okay? Another phrase, not just yet, meaning that it will happen soon, right? Okay, we also have a box. This is a box, alright? And you have the word bite, okay? Bite. Which is your homework, right? You are supposed to find out the meaning of this word. Okay? And we have the word spit, which is to use the saliva and tweet. Alright? Spit. Alright? Okay, so that will be it for your story on cat and kitten. Alright? So now that we have went through all 10 books, right? All 10 books. I want you to remember that I told you last week that you were supposed to write a short summary, alright? So you see, we have went through all 10 books, right? We have went through Animal, Tom, Cat and Jim Rat, The Mud Hut, okay? Ants at the Camp, The Big Mess, The Sick Dog, The Land of Zond, the bus stop, the billabong, and cat and kitten. Okay? So we have went through all these books, right? So choose a book, choose one, choose one book that you like the most, that you like the most. And tell me why do you like the most? Why do you like that book the most? Okay? So we write a short summary on why you like the book, alright? And that will be your homework, okay? Tell me what is interesting in the book, okay? 
Alright, so let me write down the more now in case you do not catch what I am saying. Okay. So let me first erase the board again. Okay, so so I want you to your home work. Okay, your home worker. All right. So number one, number one. Number one, choose one book. Okay? Choose one book. Any any one of them, okay? Any one of them. Okay, you choose one. Number two, tell me what is interesting in the book okay tell me what is interesting in the book okay and lastly a short summary on the book okay so three things that you need to do the first one choose one book that you like the most okay choose one book okay number two tell me what is interesting in the book okay number three Write a short summary on the book. Okay? That will be it for the end of this lesson. Alright?